welcome back to my channel today is a very different setup I'm at my desk at home i have been living at college and so right now i'm back for christmas and my desk is a mess but i wanted to update you guys on some journal stuff and i don't have a proper setup like a proper tripod to do the overview so i just have this angle but i've been very motivated to journal recently i just got pocket journal pam's collage sheet like i signed up for her patreon and then i also signed up for cat collage club and so i've printed off a bunch of old and new of both and i've got more in here i've got so many i've been using them in my journal just for example I've been obsessed and having so much fun with that. This journal is about to be my thickest journal, I think. I did a little shorts video, and I think that's when I realized how thick this journal actually is. But I also spontaneously started a new journal while I was here, while I've been here. I'm calling it Journal 12.5. I still haven't written for these spreads, but I this one is also just kind of a collage spread. So I'm having fun with that. I'm having fun with journaling in general. I also want to show I got an organizer for Christmas and I'm going to organize all my stationery. One day I want to put all my stationery in it, but I'm probably not going to bring it to school with me because it's kind of big. But one day when I have that all back here, I want to do an organizing video. I think that would be a lot of fun. My desk is so messy. Honestly, this should be a cleaning my desk video, but it's not going to be because I don't want to have to clean my desk. Today is Christmas Day. My whole family is like asleep, so I decided to film. This is the spread I'm working on for today. I still haven't written anything. I'm thinking about just making this video into a vlog because I am going to be traveling in the next couple of days. I also want to show my journal before 2023 i've never done a like an actual daily journal before i normally just journal whenever i want which tends to be almost daily i decided to get an actual daily journal this is by moleskin i already decorated it i wanted to decorate it on camera but i just couldn't wait i could not resist decorating this journal because i'm so excited i ordered it on amazon and it's the moleskin daily planner daily diary but i accidentally got 2022 which i'm kind of upset about but it's honestly fine because this is like what the pages look like and i'm gonna be covering the days up anyway because it, it says the day of the week which won't align with the date but it's fine because now that i have collage sheets i will be decorating it and covering that up so it didn't really matter what was on the page. It's more about it just having a page for each day. And the number can help guide me so I kind of know where I am in the book. So if I get behind, I can still move forward, if that makes sense. Let me show you what I have so far. I'm just so excited about this journal. I've never done anything like this, so it's kind of like my Fobonichi, if you know what that is, like a fake Hobonichi. But honestly, like the moleskin is also expensive. I just like this small journal and it's not as hard to get as the Hobonichi. It's just so cute. So when we open it up, this is from Cat Collage Sheets. This is my own washi tape and this is just some paper. This is from Pocket Journal Pam Patreon. And this is also my washi tape and just some paper. And then it has like information sheets. The <laughs> calendars don't really do anything for me now. I mean, I can still put things in on the, the date, but it won't align with the week. But I can always like write, I don't know, change the days of the week i guess one thing i really like in the front pages normally i don't care about the front pages and they're pretty pointless to me i do like this one where it's a traveling page and so you put all the places you're going to be traveling to and so hopefully i can fill that up a little more and travel a little more especially because i'm living on the east coast right now for school and it's a lot easier to travel places but yeah this is it it's so cute and it has a little bookmark so i'll probably just be pre-decorating pages up until the first and then we'll see how it goes i'm still gonna be using a normal journal i'm almost done with this journal i've got that 
much left still gonna be using this journal and then another journal after this uh i'll have like a regular just journal journal and then i'll have this as kind of a collage journal and specific pages journal and then i'll have this as my daily journal just to like jot down what i do every day and have a log of that and so i won't really go into too much detail in this journal that's more for my regular journal so i guess this is kind of like my journal lineup uh, I've never had one of those because I always just do like one journal and just stick to that because I don't want to overcomplicate things and get me disinterested in it but I've been having so much fun with journaling that this is just making me excited and not feeling like a lot of work because it's not good when journaling feels like work. You want it to be an outlet and not more stress. And so if this ever gets stressful, I'll probably just move on from it. Same with this journal. If I don't like how these new journals work out, I'm just gonna go back and stick to my main one. I'm really excited about my journal lineup. I'm really hoping I'll stick to it. I just, I journal basically every day of my life. And so I might as well do it in a daily journal, I think. I'm starting out small in this little tiny one. So it's easier for me to complete a day. I don't want it to be a lot of work and get behind. A lot of people get behind on their pages and I don't want to feel like I have to catch up. So I purposely got one with small pages so it's less work and I can still have another journal on top of this or even two in this case so I'm so excited I'm also filming on a new camera. I did get a new camera for Christmas and hopefully this will be very helpful because with my setup it's kind of hard to film at the moment and so this camera is smaller and so I should be able to hook it up to an attachment I have on my desk so I can get a good overview shot for journaling which I'm really excited about. As you can tell I'm just very excited. Can't believe I have my desk as the background like it's not it's not pretty. Also with this journal so okay let me explain more about this journal it's a random journal but it's to do like collage spreads like this and then also random spreads like with kind of journal prompts almost and like about specific things and to play around with that just like if i want to journal more kind of because i've just been super obsessed with journaling at the moment and I just want to journal more. And so this is just a way for me to journal more and have more spaces to journal. But I actually started this journal in this composition notebook. But the page quality was so bad. Like I watercolored here. It went straight through. Same with all of the pages. And I ripped one out because I had just collaged and I liked how it was looking. So I transferred this page over it's kind of fun with the watercolor and the, the different pages kind of looks cool i don't know where this journal is from i think my mom got it for me here's the information so you can look it up if you like this journal it's really cool it is silk screen printed and then like embroidered into it's a pretty big journal. I've never worked in a journal this big, so that's a big change for me. Um, and so that's why I'm not really sure how this journal is going to work out or if it will stick around. This is the one I'm most iffy on and the one that kind of has the least stakes. I don't care if I stop using it. I'm most excited about my daily journal just because it's so cute and I kind of like the structure of it. Normally, I don't like having any structure in my journaling because it's too restrictive for me, but I still have that freedom in this journal or in another journal in any journal but then i just have this on the side so that's my quick update about journaling i've just been obsessed with collage sheets and i'm just going to be using a lot of collage sheets and just having fun with them i'm catching up with my use of collage sheets because i haven't had them and now i do so i'm just using them as much as possible but I'm just feeling really inspired with my journaling in general. I think that's it for this short little update. Just showing my 2023 journals and catching you guys up on where I am in my journaling. And hopefully to just bring you guys a video because I need to get more consistent about uploading. Hopefully 
you like this video and I will see you in my next one.